Carving a turkey at the table can be a great family tradition, but today I'm going to show you how to carve the turkey in the kitchen and present it on a beautiful platter so your guests can easily serve themselves. This is also a great way to yield the most meat off the bird. Whichever carving method you prefer, it's always best to start with sharp knives. I'm using a long carving knife, a carving fork, and a boning knife to help me get the most meat off the carcass. I'm going to start by removing the leg and thigh from the bird, cutting in between the breast and the thigh. There is a joint in between the carcass and the upper thigh, which you will have to cut through. If you feel any resistance while you're cutting, just adjust your knife so you don't cut through any bone. Next, we're going to work on the other leg and thigh. Now I'm going to separate the leg from the thigh and cut straight down and transfer the drumstick to the platter. If you're unsure where to cut through the leg and thigh, you can flip it over. And there's usually a connecting tissue where you can see where the leg and thigh join, and that will help you cut right through the joint. I now want to remove the thigh meat from the bone, so I'm going to flip it over so I can get an idea of where the bone is. Basically cut right down the center until I hit the bone, and slide my knife underneath to get around the bone and cartilage, and just set that aside. I'm going to slice the meat off the thigh bone to get nice pieces of meat that aren't stringy. And doing my best to keep the skin intact. And now I can begin with the breast meat. To carve the breast meat off the bird, you want to find the breast bone along the center. Slide your knife on either side, and using the breastbone as a guide, just cut down into the meat, and then along the curve of the carcass. Just going forward, you'll run into the wishbone, which will serve as a stopping point. You've got great whole breast right here. And then we'll continue on the other side, going on the opposite side of the breastbone. And now we can slice the breast. Switching back to my slicing knife, again I'm going to cut against the grain into nice even slices. This also helps the skin remain intact so you can get a nice bit of that crispy buttermilky skin. I'm using my spatula, transfer the meat to a platter. And then finish with the remaining half of the breast. And now we'll carve off the wings. Again, you're going to want to look for the joint between the wing and the breast and cut through that cartilage. You can kind of twist this out to better see where the joint is. So I'm going to take the last wing and place it on the platter. And then garnish with some fresh herbs. I have some beautiful fresh sage and thyme and some gorgeous bay leaves. This is a great presentation. I was able to get all the meat off the bone and slice it nicely so my guests could serve themselves. So I'm ready to go join them for dinner.